Hello everyone. And today class I'm going to be telling you about the issues of health as a college student and how to maintain a healthy diet, what ways you can achieve this goal. So McDonald's. Everyone loves McDonald's. Does anyone have a favorite like Jessica? Oh, what I put on the board is actually what you get from McDonald's. It's funny. That's also what I get from McDonald's. Uh, drink, fries, and a burger. Does anyone know, Jessica, maybe you, do you know how much you usually pay for a drink, fries, and a burger? You say $10. You spend $10 on a meal from McDonald's, okay? I'm going to actually save this amount for later. I'm going to put it on the side because we're going to use that for something a little bit later on in the lesson. So, I'll see. $10 for one meal is kind of expensive, okay? I'm not a college student, so just putting myself into y'all's shoes. Um, I would not want to spend $10 on a meal one meal every day. That's kind of crazy. So today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to spend maybe, it may be a little bit more money than this, maybe, but you will be able to stretch these meals out throughout a week, which sounds better, doesn't it? Okay, yes. So today we will be learning how to budget. We will also be learning how to create a meal plan. And third, we will be learning how to take care of our body. So I'm going to go ahead and bleep, or <laughs> bleep, erase this off the board. Okay. So. Can anyone tell me why is it all bad for you to to eat McDonald's every single day? Okay, it can all the sounds that all the uh, uh, hormones and chemicals in the food. Okay, that's a good one, uh, Jesse. Thank you for that. Okay, so Jesse, you said that the chemicals and stuff is bad for you, right? Okay, so what could we do to maintain a healthy diet? Okay, what are some of the pros of this? Okay, let me write this on the board. Pros. Okay, so this is what I would say. Okay, so you're saying that the food has chemicals in it, Brian, and that cannot be good for you. So, foods without all the chemicals and bad stuff for you would probably give you more energy, right? Okay, more energy. That's one point. Another one could be better sleep. Does anyone want to add one? Okay, let's mood swings. And in terms of a college student, why? what's another point of why this is beneficial? Yes, improved memory. which is very essential for a student. Okay, so keeping all these topics in mind, I'm going to teach y'all how to create a well-balanced diet. So first we need to know what is in a well-balanced diet.
Okay, everyone knows the pyramid of what's good for you, what's bad, what should be included. Does anyone want to take a guess of what is in there? Okay, Jamie said that three things basically. You said we need meat. So protein. Protein can be in other ways. It doesn't actually just have to be meat. You said grain. Okay, that's a good one. And vegetables. Okay, now that we know what is going to be included, we can look at a sample of a meal plan I've created over here. So I'm just going to bring y'all a little closer. So I saved this amount over here. So we spent $10 at McDonald's, right? For one meal. Let's say that hmm, you want to get another meal from it. So let's say you did this on Tuesday. It's Thursday and you're hungry again. I mean, I hope you would have ate on Wednesday. Maybe you ate something somewhere else, okay? So you got another meal, okay? And then on Saturday, uh, mm, I'm hungry again. So you decide to eat. Another meal from McDonald's. So in total, you've already spent $30 on this meal, on these three meals from McDonald's throughout the week. And you can't, you couldn't really save fast food, right? So you didn't get to even save your food, ate it all at once, it's over, it's gone, okay? So with my sample meal plan over here, I've already created one. This is just a guide to show y'all what it would look like if y'all create your own plan. So let's say for breakfast, this is what we got. The totals on the side of each item is not on here, but I have included the total amount. So we have oatmeal, wheat bread, and a drink. Okay, so. I'm gonna also add some tips on the side for y'all. So here's a really good tip that I have. Tips, okay. When it comes to spending money on drinks, you can spend $5 and get a pack of water, but a more, uh, cost-effective way would be to get a water pitcher. Now this isn't going to be included in the meal plan, so y'all don't worry about putting this on y'all's uh, assignment, homework assignment. Okay, a um, water pitcher is around $16 for one, not too bad. In the long run, it's more cost-effective to get a water pitcher than to spend money water bottles, okay? So that's why total of drink here is zero dollars. So we can also take uh, that wheat bread. Also, y'all think about that when y'all do your assignment. Think about what are ways that I can utilize the same ingredients for other uh, meals, y'all, or for other meals. So we have wheat bread here twice. We have ham, cheese, fruit, chips, and a drink. Now, chips, you can get healthy chips, or you can make chips, okay? You can uh, put potatoes in there, maybe salt and pepper, throw them in the oven. You have chips, they're a lot healthier. Or, you know, maybe you don't want to do all that. You could go to the store, get the veggie straws, get kettle chips, which would be a lot cheaper, okay? Drink, also still a dollar. You have a uh, Alfredo sauce, shredded cheese noodles, chicken. So roughly, rough, roughly, 
around, actually, I think this price should be around $25, 28 So $25 for three meals versus the $30 that she spent on McDonald's. So I don't know to y'all, but yeah, making the meal at home is seeming a lot better. Uh, any questions, anyone? Okay, so some of y'all are asking what what are ways to um, make this food last longer, or what's ways to maybe get more food out of this? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and erase so I can have a little bit more space. Okay, so lastly, we need to talk about where could you look, okay? Since y'all already brought up, what are ways to maybe cut corners, but not really, but ways to be more effective about how to spend less, get the bang for your buck is the word you can for. Okay, so you said, uh, Lexi, you said, Clearance. Okay. So looking at clearance section would help. That's a really good point. So we have number one, the clearance. So I'm going to also provide some other ones. Couponing. Couponing would also be a good option. Okay. And Last one I want to provide to y'all is SNAP. I also want y'all to, uh, on your free time, when you do your homework assignment, look at the uh, SNAP benefits, okay? Has anyone heard of SNAP? Some, okay, some of y'all have heard of SNAP. So SNAP is a government program that provides people with benefits for having basically food. It's like kind of like a nice little program they have. So I'm going to be providing y'all with a website that y'all can go to to find more answers about SNAP because this will be included in y'all's homework assignment. So the website y'all need to go to is fns. SDA dot gov slash snap. Okay, this is the website that y'all will need to go to in order to find more information, which will be included in y'all's final uh, homework assignment. Okay, so thank y'all for being so patient and understanding my lesson today. So a quick little recap, what have we went over, okay? So we've talked about the importance of a healthy diet and how it can emotionally and physically help. We've also talked about how to create a sample meal plan and what are ways to um, Get all your money's worth by reusing similar ingredients. We've talked about that. And we've also talked about which ways to be able to uh, to also spend less money to get more food. So we have clearance, couponing, and SNAP. So what I want y'all to do is to create an Excel sheet. I'm going to actually write it on the board so everyone can write down what the assignment's going to be over. Okay, 
assignment. We have create an Excel sheet. Okay. In the Excel sheet, you will need to list budget. You will also need to list information. over SNAP program. And this should be basically all the information you all need to do. Create an Excel sheet, list your overall budget that you want to spend per week, and information over the SNAP program. This will be due Monday, so make sure y'all have all the information in. Thank y'all for being so patient today, and class is dismissed.